I'll read off. Our next uh, group is health and safety, and that would uh, encompass Beartooth Covers, Beartooth Billings Clinic Foundation, uh, Bridger Community Food Bank, Carbon County Habitat for Humanity, Carbon County Search and Rescue, Domestic and Sexual Violence Services, yeah, actually everybody can come up, uh, EMS Association, Red Lodge Area Food Partnership Council, and Volunteer Firefighters. And uh, this group had a total donations of $54,930. Uh, we have uh, four top finishers in this group between uh, Beartooth Cupboards, uh, uh, Beartooth Billings Clinic Foundation, uh, Domestic and Sexual Violence Services, and Volunteer Firefighters. So very essential groups to our community. Congratulations. Hi, I'm representing uh, Carbon County Search and Rescue because Asano couldn't make it tonight. But uh, she wanted me to remind everybody that uh, Search and Rescue is part of the umbrella of uh, Red Lodge Fire and Rescue. And so uh, we are going to use this money to enhance our um, search capabilities by purchasing some more uh, safety beacons for our rescuers. So, and thank you, Tracy, and all of you guys at RLACF. We really appreciate it. I'm representing Carbon County Habitat for Humanity tonight. We are so excited because we are starting our ninth house in Red Lodge, or the ninth house in Carbon County. It's our fourth house in Red Lodge. You all know what it costs to build a house, and so this money will really help us. Thank you. Thank you, uh, for the Beartooth Covers. <laughs> My name is Sarah Urbanic, and I am representing Beartooth Billings Clinic Foundation. And the Beartooth Billings Clinic Foundation supports community health through Beartooth Billings Clinic. And we're forever grateful for our community and to be here to serve you. I represent the Bridger Community Food Bank. And our money will go to constant food costs. Mm -hmm. We have fed 1,127 people this year. And uh, for Bridger, that's quite a few. Mm -hmm. so, thank you. I'm representing the Food Partnership Council. Our mission is around celebrating and promoting local food efforts and connecting local producers with consumers. We're very excited to be launching a new online food hub system this fall to be doing that in an online way to order local food. And join us next week at our, our meeting at the, at the foundation at 4. We're going to be rolling out our new food mill and you can try some freshly milled Montana grains. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kristen Hobson. I am here on behalf of Red Lodge EMS Association. We plan on using these funds for two different things. Um, one is to continue our training with our EMS volunteers and staff um, so that we can hone our skills and provide the best level of emergency uh, pre-hospital care for the amazing people of this community. And the second is to hopefully set aside some of these funds so that we can purchase um, small equipment that's needed, again, just to provide um, the best patient comfort and care um, for the community. So thank you so much. I'm Ron Kerr. I'm a semi-retired volunteer after 38 years. And the money here, it will be used for training budget. Training, we felt, is the most important thing for a volunteer fireman because it keeps them safe. So I want to thank the staff and everything for letting us have this money. Thank you. Did I do good? Yeah. <laughs> uh, my name is Kelly Heaton, and I am representing Domestic and Sexual Violence Services. Uh, this money is very vital to us to provide emergency shelter and food for our clients. Uh, we've approximately served about 150 clients already this year. And, um, I am really happy to get this assistance to help us do that. Um, it also will go towards uh, violence prevention grants for 
local schools to start their own violence prevention clubs in their school to um, further our mission of Power Up Speak Out, which is our education program that teaches kids about healthy relationships. Thank you.